Well, hello and welcome to Domain to Profit. I am Drew Wash. As I always start off by saying, if you are watching this on Reem, just know we'd love to have you join us live. This is a live show, so you will find that it is not edited and uh, things get a little crazy at times. But joining us live is a way to watch if you can. I know I have people from all over the world that watch, and I know time zones don't allow you to watch 3 p.m. Eastern time. Uh, but if you ever can, I'd love to have you, as would the community, because Domain to Profit is not just this guy. There are many of us in the chat, all who enjoy looking through expiring domain names, which is what we're going to do today. We look through expiring domain names. These are the bankruptcy auctions that we talked about last week, the domains that the previous owners let them expire, and now they come up for auction, and you have the opportunity to bid, win, and then make money from this domain name because domain names are the premium real estate of the internet. At least they can be if you know which ones to buy, buy the right ones. So yeah, that's why we do this. We help you figure out which domain name is the right one to buy. So wouldn't that, that's helpful, right? Oh yeah. Well then today we're also gonna be talking about the danger of looking through all these domains in these lists that we look through uh, you, you, you've fallen victim to this. I know it. If you've ever bought domain names from auction, especially if you've used expired domains.net, uh, which is the tool that we use, you've fallen prey to this danger. So let me put it out there as a warning and show you how it all works. But before we do, make sure you say hi in the chat if you're joining me here live. Let us know you're here. Let us know what you're up to. And uh, I saw El Couch was already first with the early comment. It seems to be a thing, first place medal. Say hi, and let's get this party started. See you just after this. From domain to profit, domain to profit, from a dot com to a business idea. Take your domain name, develop an income from domain to profit. We'll show you how. Domain to profit from domain. And uh, yes, El Couch was the first comment coming in. Welcome, and always nice to have you with us here. Uh, and then <laughs> Jeffrey letting her know that uh, they are first. So uh, nice to have you as well. And Fred, all these familiar faces, I love our community. It is the reason why I continue to do this. Uh, Ian, thank you all for, for joining as well. Uh, as well as Coaster G, got you here. Late, not much. I'm, what am I late? Maybe I'm late. I don't know. I'm late often. Matt, nice to have you as well. Thank you for all you do to help out with things. And then we got somebody from LinkedIn over here. Uh, I'm going to say Graham Thomas. Uh, I don't know if I'm saying that right, but welcome. Nice to have you joining us from LinkedIn. You'll find many of the comments in chat or are over on YouTube, but uh, hey. Being here is, is, is part of the game, right? So here on Domain to Profit, we spend our time looking through expiring domain name lists, and we do it over here, expireddomains.net, and you can find right up in the corner of the show is a QR code you can scan. That QR code will take you to a YouTube video that shows you how to set up the filters that we use to turn these lists into, uh, uh, well, manageable amounts of domain names because here's what the GoDaddy Fire domains look like. 455,000 domain names, like that's a lot of domain names as you can imagine, that's going to be expiring over like the next nine days or so I believe is what it used. And then once we apply our filters, 108,000, which here on the show live we are only going to get to 200, 400 domain names on a good day. So keep that in mind. Well, as we do this, when we get in here, we also need to click on valuation over here, bringing the uh, best domain names or the ones that GoDaddy believes are the best domain names to the top of the list. Valuation does not mean value. It just helps us see the best ones on top, which, yeah, there we go. So now we are set up. We have the domain names over there. I hope that meets the, uh, the desire to be faster on setup there. So now we have all these domain names and we're gonna be looking through these 
uh, pretty much just going down the list. This is this is it. This is the show, which is why you got to love domain names, love business, because these domain names represent an opportunity for you, for me, for anyone who wants to participate in the auction and potentially win. For example, right here, the fourth one down, webmarketer.com. Webmarketer.com, what do you think that domain has to do with? Web marketing? <laughs> Life gives clues, right? Domains give clues. Well, webmarketer.com, $485 currently, ends in two days. Already have it on my watch list, which you can see right over there. Why do you think that is? This guy's a web marketer. Yeah, if you probably are too, if you are a domain person, you're into web marketing, whether you know it or not. If you sell domain names, you are a web marketer. There you go. I would, I, one of the things, actually, <laughs> the topic of danger, the danger of looking through the list of domain names, it, it comes into this. One of the things we talk about somewhat frequently is domain names that have domain name or domain in the domain. So domain something.com. I, I always warn, hey, watch out, you're going to think this domain name is better than what it is because you are so used to seeing the word domain that it looks good. And that's one of the warnings. The more you look at these lists, the more you're going to be drawn into thinking a domain name that's not very good is good. But I will say this, better than domain would be a domain name like this, which is web marketer, something that's more broad and general uh, in the case of uh, this domain. I like it. It will go for significantly more, but don't take my word for it. Let's go look at some data which I've not done yet, but to look for data, we go over here, which I need to log into my account. Yes, please remember me. Remember me. So as we use this tool, I'll shrink myself down here a little bit. We are using SpyFu, spyfu.com, free. Uh, well, there is a free option for you. That's why we use it. I use a paid account, so I will have more data available to me. If you check out domain names often, you may want to go ahead and pay the money. This is one of the less expensive keyword tools, which is why I bring it to you. Uh, I'm not paid to say that. It's just the tool I use and like. So uh, when we take a domain name, we take the keywords, the actual root of the domain name, we drop off the .com, we spread it out into words, and look at that, web marketer. Now we're doing a search over here. Only 28 searches. Mm, not very good, right? Not very good at all. However, that doesn't change my love of this domain name. I am going to do a highlight, do a control F, see if anything pops out. Just one of the things that we do, we pull up the domain name, the keywords of that domain name, .com only, obviously. Uh, and then we do a control F often, which that does a search in the browser and highlights anywhere that appears. In this case, it's not really appearing anywhere only the places that we've entered it. So that's kind of a negative, but let's look down a little bit. This is one of the things that we like to look for, the money side of this domain name. This data is pulled in from Google and what it's gonna show you is what the cost per click, what somebody's paying to reach this market, as well as the number of advertisers that are paying. The only thing is, there's only 28 searches over there uh, for web marketer. That's a little bit of a bummer. I'm actually really shocked by how poor these numbers are. Um, I would have thought that this domain name would end up going for thousands, be worth thousands. I mean, look at that web marketing even uh, down here in the middle, 660, see that behind my head? 660 searches for web marketing. What, is there a better term? Let's go check out a different keyword. This is a little unusual, but I'm just kind of curious uh, I planned on bidding on this. I'm just wondering, is internet marketer a better keyword? It is a little bit better. It's actually much better. I, I mean, I guess web is a word, you know, one of the things it shows is web is an older word than internet is really what I guess it comes down to. I like web though, it's short. I'd much rather have web marketer than internet marketer. I think I would. Yeah, I would. So there we go. I'd like to have them both. <laughs> okay.
Seth's webmarketer.com, looking at the data, uh, not really liking the keyword, the volume, but I will say I've referred to myself as a web marketer pretty frequently. And even if it doesn't show up in the keyword data, uh, I believe in this domain name. I believe this is going to end up going for $1,200 to $3,800 in that, time, that realm. Uh, I will probably bid at least $1,200 on this is what I'm estimating. I, this is one of those ones. I don't know what I'm going to bid until I do it. Heck, I might even forget to participate in the end of the auction. It could happen, happen somewhat frequently. But okay, let's move on from that one. I wouldn't look for a web marketer. So the question that's uh, one of the comments here, Jeffrey uh, posted out here, uh, would not look would would not look for a web marketer. Wouldn't it be web marketeer? Uh, I don't know. Let's go check SpyFu real quick before I move on. I, yeah, I, I didn't. That may be uh, more of an international spelling. I would think it with just one R, like marketer, uh, market er. It, it, I think it's a little bit on the slang side. Uh, so maybe if I change countries, Jeffrey, if there's one. Oh, okay. So uh, it's saying that there's a uh, typo. Uh, okay. So yeah, we'll see. Uh, so I'm going to move on from that one. I still like it, but that's just me. So one of the things we have to watch out for, one of the dangers of looking through these domain name lists is the more you do it, and this is, this is where, this is the warning, it's going to be very expensive. The more you look through these lists, the more domains are going to start to look better. Just something about it. If you see a bunch of stinkers, uh, one of them's eventually going to look like it's worth spending money on. One of the things you got to kind of ask yourself is, you know, how does it compare to a domain? You know, eh, I don't know. I just so frequently I, I see domains, even like Black Eyes. Look at this. We got this is a pretty good uh, domain name, BlackEyes.com. Is it good though? Is it like what? What do you? What are you going to tell that domain name? I don't know. If it has black eyes, you've probably already told it twice. Is that, is that allowed? Am I allowed to make that joke? No? Uh, uh. Anyhow, uh, I, I don't know. I, don't, I, I think it's kind of good. One of the things I was going up here, I'm all over the place a little bit. Bear with me, that, but that's okay. Uh, CarOwner.com? That sounds like a good domain name. It's towards the top of the list, meaning GoDaddy thinks it's worth something. $8,700. Six days left on the auction. $526 currently. I don't know if I like it, though, but let's go check out the keyword data because Drew's opinion doesn't matter as much as the data. 270 searches or the exact amount, uh, exact searches over there. Let's see if control F. Again, not really much happening, at least not in the top of this list here. Uh, but those are some pretty big numbers, so I could see how it might not show up. And no money happening down there. So no real money happening there. I like the domain name, but again, not meeting the data requirements. So it's one of those things where carowner.com, would you like to own it? Probably. Would you like to pay what you're going to have to pay to get it from auction? Probably not. It's going to look like a good domain name probably isn't a bad domain name but to get it at auction you're about to pay a market price that's probably not going to be really worth uh what it's going to cost but we'll see we'll see web marketer is an awesome name okay fred fred's on board with team team web marketer as well i have a couple that i have a lot of marketing domains being a web marketer so uh, none of them, I, I would, Web Marketer, I think, would be my top web marketing domain name if I ended up getting it. I doubt I'll win it, though. Somebody in there will come in and get it. Ooh, look at this middle S trap. Homes page. Homes page. Uh, that's one of those things where just that warning, especially out to my English as a second language audience, that middle S destroys that domain name. That domain name is not worth getting. Uh, and I will click on it just to see who, I'm guessing it already, and 92 bucks isn't that bad. Seven days left on it. I am going to exit out of this one. Look at this, GoDaddy's saying it's over $7,000. Homes page, homes page. I, it doesn't even, 
uh, that doesn't make sense. It's not a real thing. Looks like homepage, homepage being the front page of a website, uh, but it's not. There, there is no middle S. Okay, that middle S is a trap pretty frequently. SEOacademy.com, I like that one. It's kind of a brandable that falls for that, hey, where would you go if you're going to learn search engine optimization, which is SEO. SEO Academy sounds like a good place. Well, you can build and create that brand right here on SEO Academy if you win the domain name, which is going to cost you over $3,500 already. Ends tomorrow on my watch list, but I am way out on this domain name. I would have trouble getting up to that kind of price for this uh, domain. Let's go check it out on SpyFu to see if it's worth what it's even going for already. So SEO Academy, 180 searches is not great. Uh, pretty reasonable monthly you know, value over there, over $8 per click, but there's only one advertiser paying for it. So one of the things with this domain name that I highly encourage you to kind of keep in mind are all the alternative domain name options. SEO Academy. Okay, well, how about SEO School, SEO's uh, Instruction. I don't, I don't, you could probably come up with a list of 20 different domain names that would be as good as SEO Academy. And because of that, it's going to share that, that market, which is, seems kind of small, with a lot of other domain names. Because of that, be very cautious. And if you are thinking about bidding thousands of dollars for this domain name, make sure you're going around looking uh, and typing in and seeing if there's other domain names available for less. Because especially once you start to get into thousands of dollars, you will find domain names that are available and for sale by other people for a reasonable price. So SEO Academy, that one, 3550 is the current bid, ends tomorrow, so it's going to sell. It's going to sell, 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 sell. All righty, safedistance.com. Somebody uh, probably paid a pretty penny for that during COVID stuff. Road Smart. Uh, I'm, transportation logistics is my background. And I will tell you, smart roads are a thing. I don't know if road smart is. I'm going to pass over on it because it's an enom domain name, which we do not talk about uh, enom domain names very often. Uh, road smart could have something to do, but that's going to be very, very niche. A smart road, by the way, is a road that has RFID tags tied to pressure so they can weigh vehicles that drive over it and get an idea of wear and tear on the road. Way over engineered in my opinion, but hey, someday maybe we'll have that kind of stuff on our highways. Money swap, not bad. Taxi guide. So as you're going through these, chances are you're, you're like, hey, these are some pretty good domain names, which they are, but are they? <laughs> like, one of the things I uh, talk about pretty frequently uh, here is make sure, like, in a perfect world, on Domain to Profit, we have a very broad range of domain names that we look at. We don't limit ourselves very much. When you are looking at domain names, I highly recommend you limit yourself to what you are looking for. Your main industries, your passion projects, the areas that you want to look versus looking down to a list like this. One of those dangers that we're warning you about is as you're doing this, Domain names, the more you look at them, the better, like weaker domain names are gonna look. You're gonna be interested in buying and possibly wasting money on domain names, partly just because they sound good. And if they're outside of your industry or whatever else, you may end up uh, wasting money. For example, like web marketer. I like it, I'm in marketing, I could spend money on it. You may like it, not really know much about internet or web marketing, and you may end up wasting your money because you are entering in, you're, you're swimming in somebody else's pool. Is that, a, is that an expression? There we go. Uh, I tend to stick to transportation domain names. Uh, I spend, I, I buy a lot of domain names, which actually I will show you. Uh, last week I ended up selling, um, I sold a domain name uh, for around $3,000 uh, 
uh, in about, about $3,000 in profit. And with that, I spent an extra $1,000 buying some smaller domain names, which I'll share with you later on. Uh, those smaller domain names I purchased uh, just in, ra in random areas. Well, dang, I almost remember what it was. Yeah, somebody maybe mentioned in the chat, I can't remember what domain name was. Uh, it was Ninja, Freight Ninja, FreightNinja.com. Again, I love transportation logistics. I know that industry. I thought Freight Ninja was great. Ended up paying a couple hundred bucks for it years ago. Ended up selling it for $3,000 or so. Same kind of thing. I looked for those similar domains, things that I think would meet the same criteria. Bought them over the last week. And uh, yeah. <sighs> Let's see here. I'm guessing people might be ahead of me on the list at this point. I'm going too slow. Too slow. Again, if you're following along, you can follow along over on the QR code. You can scan that and be taken to the video, the YouTube that shows you what the search feature that we use. Golf report, again, an enom domain name. Um, I don't know, pretty, pretty reasonable domain name. But uh, th again, if golf's your thing, I haven't played golf in, in quite a few years. What, I was like co-captain of my uh, high school team. That was fun. <laughs> back when I actually could golf. Get results. Oh man, it's get result. See, that would be a real, that would be a baller domain name if it had an S at the end, which a lot of times, plural, singular, the first word, if it was plural, typically that's a rule out. Not always, but typically, I don't like the first word to be plural. The second word there, though, get results, sounds great, uh, get result, Mm, that doesn't doesn't make as much sense. I'm guessing many people would type it in and add that S. You want to avoid that. You want it to just make sense. Victory Marketing, more of a brand. <laughs> C Jobs. That's like a typo of uh, SEO Jobs, which is uh, Peter's one of Peter's. I uh, was talking to somebody in Discord about that. Computer Tools. This is one of those domains that almost could be a trap. Let's go find out. Computer tools, sounds great, sounds broad. Sometimes broad is good. I'm guessing the keyword data is gonna be really, really bad, mostly because nobody, like, did people search for computer tools? Ah, 400, the best domain name we found so far is the one that Drew was thinking, ah, that's not very good. Okay, control F, not really much happening there, just the word that we like to see which is our exact domain name. Uh, let's check out the money, 89 cents, one advertiser, not much money happening with it. Uh, this is also a product domain name. One of the other things I was talking on Discord about uh, earlier was just that I avoid product domain names, uh, mostly because product domain names, the margins are so much smaller. Uh, I was sharing that one of the things I like to do when I price out one of our monthly subscriptions is I like to start the pricing to where somebody wants to be an advertiser on our domain or a listing member. I want to start the pricing to where if they advertise for a full year, one customer that year would be, excuse me, would be worth a year's worth of advertising, one customer. That way they can easily justify like, hey, yeah, I'll try this out. I'll try out this experimental uh, new domain name website thing. I feel like there's a lot I need to explain in what I just said. I'm not gonna take the time to do it right now. Maybe we'll catch a domain name uh, that will allow me to go into more details there. If not, I apologize. Check out the Discord. Huh, how about this one? Let's page down here. Earnmiles.com, something I see in, what is it? Uh, it's all those uh, Capital One, earn more miles, earn more miles, earn miles. But as you'll see, it's an enom domain name. And let's see if it is, uh, it is five days out, meaning chances are earnmiles.com will not actually, that's why we do not look at the enom domains is they don't actually uh, end typically. The person that owns it renews it because these are expiring domain names, 
Enom's one of the ones that let them uh, renew it all the way up to about the th end of the third day. So when it's two days left or less, you can typically count on the domain name ending. But yeah, here's another one. Let me see Solar Tools. That one that one might be pretty good. That goes with uh, Quality Brokers. Ah, another Enom one. And what I want to get to is this one here, Blueberry Muffin. <laughs> oh my goodness, this was just, I just checked this one before the show and it was, I thought, uh, up and running still. But Blueberry Muffin, this is exactly what I was talking about with the Enom domain names, but in this case, it happened with a GoDaddy one. Let's see how many days out that is. That's interesting. Huh, two minutes left on this one. Uh, was up to 3200 Was up to $3,200 back here behind me. Uh, and it looks like it's been pulled. I don't know if anybody else sees that, but... Okay. Or maybe the auction ended. I'm clicking it again just because... Okay. It's no longer available through auction. Either that or possibly the auction ended already. Uh, which that is a very good possibility. So I just was going to say uh, blueberry muffin. Uh, it's one of those things where every time I see it in one of those little stores for, and I'm like desperate for breakfast, I always think a blueberry muffin sounds good. And then I always regret buying it. It's like, it's not as good as what it sounds. I kind of think that about the domain name as well. Like, It'd be fun to own Blueberry Muffin, but what are you going to do with it? You want to sell Blueberry Muffins from a dumb website? Maybe? I don't know. I mean, I've seen some good domain names. I probably should be uh, adding more of these to my watch list than what I am, but that's life. Uh, somebody mentioned Evil Corporation to me. They, my dislike for big business. Ah, what the heck. I'll go ahead and click on it. I don't, uh, I don't know if I'm going to bid on this or not. Uh, I'm going to add it to my watch list. Uh, but evilcorporation.com, currently $12, ends in five days. Uh, and who knows? I mean, I certainly dislike big business. Uh, Hero Post, I kind of like that, but that's more of a brandable one. Just, again, as you look through these lists, Hero Post, is it any good? I don't, it's probably not actually good. It's probably something you can hand reg most of the time, uh, but I see it and I'm like, oh, it looks good. Why? Because I'm looking through a big list of domain names. Suddenly you start to be like, oh, that sounds good. Oh, it's $50. Oh, it's $100. Maybe it's worth buying. Maybe you're about to waste your money. Yeah. <laughs> I like that. Just redirect it to your favorite evil corporation. I like that. It, somebody does that with a uh, like dummy or something. Like there's some domain name that people troll. Just buy it and troll big corporations. Although you know you would end up like, you'd end up sued and everything else. That's the thing about evil corporations is they have no sense of humor. A rechargeable car. Uh, because it's a product, I'm going to skip over it. But hey, if you're into that kind of thing, maybe it's uh, worth checking out. We got some pretty good domain names going so far. I'm digging it. I'm digging it. 30 minutes in. We've looked at quite a few. No home runs. I'm hoping we see a good domain name that uh, helps us talk about a, just a little bit about revenue and business models. Ropecourse.com, man. Uh, Coaster G, do you remember going to, uh, what was it like Camp Campbell Guard or something? And they had that rope course. We did all those, that was so freaking cool. I used to love that. I'm gonna add that to my watch list just because it was a good memory. Uh, yeah, anyhow. So ropecourse.com, uh, these would be those things where there's a bunch of ropes, kind of like uh, zip lines, but well, ropes and you climb on them. It's more of a uh, overcoming your fear of heights kind of thing. Uh, but they are a thing. Camp Kern maybe? Yeah. So if you're following the chat, you'll see it's like maybe Camp Kern maybe. Uh, but yeah, ropecourse.com, it is a thing. Let's go check it out actually versus just me just adding it to my watch list and moving on. 
at least they used to be a thing. I don't know if they are anymore. Who knows? Maybe enough people had heart attacks. Rope course. Boom, it is definitely a thing. Here we go, peeps. 1,600 searches. Rope courses. Oh, that's a weird one. Okay, well, it turns out that ropes course near me. Ropes uh, with a plural. Uh, you're, I feel like uh, I'm, I'm having my rule uh, tossed back in my face because uh, I usually say that middle, that first world plural is bad. There's, an ex there's exceptions to every rule. This seems to be one of them. I would probably put in rope courses, uh, but it looks like most people are putting in ropes course near me. Either way, our actual domain, uh, here you go, let's do our control F. I'm getting excited. I'm forgetting to do the basics. Let me include the R. So now we do that control F. We're highlighting all the places that rope course appears. And you'll see that there's more places now. So we have more places that rope course appears. Why does that matter? It matters because we not only get that 1600 exact match searches for the keyword of our domain name, but we also get access to this here, which you know that makes my heart like patter. Here you go. Hopefully that's not a horrible thing to do, tapping the mic. But my heart gets going when I see near me because that allows me to think of the internet marketing as a service business model, which is exactly what we use on towing.com as well as our other sites that we are developing. It is the idea of taking a great domain name and sharing it with those small businesses that actually provide the service to that industry. So think of all the rope courses that are around, all those little camps and other things that provide rope courses for corporate outings or whatever, you know, what team building I think they do. Rope courses, that's what it is. So 6,200 searches. So not only do we get that 1,600 searches over there that are actually searching for the keywords of our domain, rope course, but we also have the option, not the option, the hard work of targeting these 6,200 uh, keywords for rope course near me. Why? People that are searching for rope course are often searching, Google will default to showing searches for rope course near me, but more importantly, on ropecourse.com, you should have a local directory, something that where somebody can enter a location and find the rope course near them. That's exactly what they're looking for. So now you're talking about 7,000, 8,000 people that with some SEO, with some content, you can build a website that people will, well, hopefully you're building the best possible website for the keyword rope course, which is the idea of internet marketing as a service. You are just sharing that domain name with the industry. With that said, how about we talk about a little bit of revenue uh, I won't do any kind of master class on it right now, but I will say, so how do you start it off? One of the top questions I often get is, okay, I got a domain name, I put a website on it, how do I get that first customer? Which I say, call people like crazy, call a bunch of rope courses, Google it, find them, call them, say, hey, if I develop it, use the if I, will you, if I develop this out, will you pay a monthly or an annual fee to become a member to show up when somebody searches in your local area? Have a conversation. Don't act like those big evil corporations that want to trick people onto their website. Be human to human and talk to somebody and uh, hopefully you can find that first small business to get you going. How do you price it though? That's the question. How do you come up with the price? Well, you find out how much they charge. I recommend or I love it when it works out to being one customer pays for a membership for the entire year. So what does that look like? If the most common thing they do might be like a corporate event, maybe they charge $1,200 to do a corporate event or something. Well, that would be great because $1,200 means that uh, you, if you charge like $50 a month, that now if they just get like one customer, it pays for two years of advertising. Does that, does that make sense? So now they advertise in their area as a rope course near them. 
And if they get a customer from your website, <coughs> over the course of two years, it was worth it to them. Uh, that's kind of how I start off my pricing model, if that makes sense. So, Okay. Um, okay, so I love Rope Course. I am adding that to my watch list. Uh, $40 currently. Ends in six days. That one will go. I guarantee I will take that up to at probably at least $900. The numbers justify, this is one of the things I should talk about, the numbers justify this, oh, did we look at money yet? No, we did not. Okay. So in a perfect world, if this domain was going to be winning awards today, uh, this would be uh, over $2 per click, and I would see advertisers of 10 or more, which this one only has one advertiser, $0.94 cents per click. This may be seasonal though, and if you check this in like a August or September or during the summer months, uh, you may end up find that these uh, the numbers are much higher. Don't know that though, just just kind of a guess. Uh, based on that though, yeah, I, typically I would say, um, I mean my my mathematical formula that I typically use. Uh, would say that that is going to be like a $600 domain name, which I already told you, I'm going to bid more than that. So ignore the math. I'm going with my gut on that one. And I like it because I love it when it has the near me. Like I said, it makes my heart go, and it also fits our business model. But that doesn't mean, like, if you want it, you bid more than me. That's, that's okay. How about my constipation? Anybody? Anybody? Okay. Okay. Oh, wow. Excellent. Well, that's, that's awesome. And uh, by the way, now that I see it in the chat here, uh, thank you everybody for uh, the likes. Like it if you have not. I do appreciate it. And uh, the many people watching, thank you so much. And I will also point out, we hit 800 subscribers, which is very cool. I'm very excited that we are 80% of our way to 1,000 subscribers, which 1,000 subscribers was my goal as I started this channel, uh, what, 136 episodes ago? So I do appreciate you all uh, helping me accomplish that. And just, I work for likes, right? There's, there's no money happening here yet. Someday, I've said that for a couple of years now, someday I will try to make some money off this. We'll see. Movieapps.com. But why do I do this? I do this because I love domain names and I want more of them developed. I want more of them generating and, and benefiting the world which hopefully you hear that and know that uh, based on what we've been doing for so many years. Movie apps, don't mind it. Uh, that's an investable domain name. Let's just click to see what it's going for. And I'm going to go ahead and uh, highlight this. Thank you, Matt, for sharing that. I will put that into a QR code uh, to use. Uh, I will put that into a QR code uh, shortly or towards the end of the show, and we'll have it in future episodes. I, I couldn't go and find the invite. It's really tough to figure out that whole Discord invite thing. Four days left on movie apps. $22 is currently what it is. I will tell you, as somebody who owns some various domain names with app and apps in it, uh, Singular would be much better on this one. Uh, movie apps, because it's plural, people are going to expect there to be more, like more of a list of movie apps. Uh, Movie, like I've had good luck with a lot of offers for my keyword app.com domains. Uh, if you can get them for $200 or less, sell them for just over a thousand or two thousand, or even better, develop them. But I don't develop apps, so uh, but I only have a couple of them, but they do get uh, quite a few offers. Just saying, now I will also mention. I am anti anti uh, buying domain names based on keyword patterns, so I just told you to do that as if a keyword pattern matters. It doesn't. Movie apps sounds pretty good, uh, but it doesn't mean that any other keyword app would would do the trick. So make sure the keywords make sense, and if you don't know, then don't do it. Live on demand. Live on demand to get the fight this weekend. Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. 
I got nothing. I, I don't know what to say, peeps. I, uh, I, I was going to, I was going to tweet before the show. I was like, I am in a bad mood. I'm just going to be mean all show. And then I pressed, uh, I, I pressed go live, start the broadcast and instantly like get back to my good mood. I, I just, I can't look at domains and be angry. I can't do it. I can't do it. Whiskey connoisseur. Oh, stick it, Enom. Uh, like Insight app. That's probably not a bad one. That kind of, it, it's, yes, it's the pattern. Again, singular in that case. Uh, just a, that's more of a buy and sell. I don't really uh, talk much with my investor hat uh, on the show. I, I look more for domains that you can develop yourself. Uh, and because that's where look, you can buy and sell domains. And when I sold Freight Ninja, uh, you know, it's it's exciting to make a few thousand dollars. It really is. Like it's it's just it's fun. Okay, it's fun to make money. I know if three thousand dollars can be life changing for some, but taking a domain name and developing it and turning it into something that doesn't make three thousand dollars once but instead makes like thousands of dollars a day or thousands of dollars a week or a month. That is what we are after. We're after life change. We are after changing our future with a domain name, not just like getting a quick fix off of buying a domain name and selling it. Like the reason why somebody buys a domain name is because they have a dream and they want to do something with it. If you could be the one with the dream and do something with a domain name, then you do that have dreams, go pursue them. Like it's, it's fun to sell a domain name, but dang it, it is, it's a temporary high. It's probably why I'm in a bad mood today. You can't share, sell a domain name every day. Actually, you probably can, but it's a lot of work and nobody wants to do that. Nobody wants to work. I don't want to work. I want to do what I want to do. Play, play work. Okay, homemadepies.com. That one goes with blueberry muffin. We had blueberry muffin, which that auction got pulled, but homemadepies.com. Hmm. Let's check out homemade pies. I kind of feel like homemade pies could be a homemade pies near me type of domain. Homemade pies. What's your favorite pie, chat? Anybody? Uh, Thanksgiving, I get a pecan pie. I usually like pecan pie is the one I go. Yes, it is. Okay. Bing. Ding, 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 ding. Uh, look at this top keyword right off the bat. Homemade pies near me. 3,100 searches. This may be taking over as the best name we've seen all day. The only thing is, is 220 exact searches for our keyword is not earth shattering, but I do like the idea of could you imagine uh, developing out homemadepies.com and you develop it out, you, you know, ideally you get it for some as cheap as possible. You do a simple development and build it out to where all the little old ladies, I'm, I'm going to be, I'm going to like stereotype here, all the little old ladies with their, you know, three generation homemade pie recipe they can sell their pies, make a few extra dollars, and, and share something they love, making pies with their communities, all through homemadepies.com. That is what, like, as much about profit, you, profit can be many things. It can be money, but it can also be the impact and joy you bring into the world. That's, like, that's the profit I get when I'm here with you on Domain to Profit. I get joy from, hey, Look how many people have joined us here. Look how many people have liked and subscribed. Look how many comments and all of you that join us and interact with us. That is everything to me. That is how I profit from domain to profit. Uh, you know, talking about how you can profit with both money or by helping others pursue their passion of creating and selling their homemade pies, sharing it with the world. 3,100 searches. Uh, where to buy homemade pies near me. Look at that one. Another 900 searches over here. Uh, that's one of the things you can put on the site. 
Now this is uh, this is a little bit down hard, you know, no advertisers and 31 cents per click. It doesn't matter. Somebody go help those little old women in their, uh, what, uh, their aprons, their aprons and their rolling pins and their spectacles. I'm going to be the one that ends up buying it. Okay, I'm out of my watch list. Five days left, $12 currently, which if nobody bids, which let me make sure nobody's broken the rule. Okay, nobody's broken the rule. That's good. So, and homemade pies is spelled correctly. $12 currently, and don't be the first one to bid on this. If you want to be the first one to bid on it, wait until five minutes and like 20 seconds left. Don't bid until then. Otherwise, you're just going to put like chum into the water, and you're going to draw the sharks, and all those investors are going to come and bid this thing up. But I will let you know, I will pay a good amount of money for it. Uh, I know I'm in at at least $900, possibly more, uh, but there you go, homemadepies.com. I dig it. And now I'm hungry. Here, let me check in the chat. Uh, we got a peach cobbler. Is that a pie, though? I feel like there's in there. Peach cobbler. That's like, I do like peach cobbler. Apple pies. To what? The apple pie. I love warm apple pie with vanilla ice cream on top. Actually, just add vanilla ice cream to any uh, any pie that I ever eat. And then Fred, he's he must be the tech nerd, which actually, yeah, yeah, there you go. Pie, 3.14. Homemade pie. I love it. Pump, we got a pumpkin. Uh, uh, and let's see here. Any other one up? <laughs> I love it. That's fun. It's fun stuff. I appreciate you, everybody. Uh, and what did I just pin to the top? Oh, I pe pinned the peach cobbler. Unpin. How do I unpin? My goodness. I've been doing this show for a while, but I cannot uh, always figure it out. Okay. There we go. We know everybody's homemade pie. I love that. That's a good domain name. That's a fun domain name. Okay. It is plural, though, so homemade pies. I might prefer the, sing the singular, but that's life. Um, perfect tips. Trail development. Smugness. Smugness. I've, I'm pretty sure I've been told I'm, I'm a pretty smug guy. Okay. And there we go. Those first 200 domain names that we've had so far. Let me run. Mince pie is what I got. Uh, that's the last pie that I see popping up here. I don't even know what that is. So that I'm a little scared to... Uh, to do, but hey, hey let's go ahead and So we are on to our next 200 domain names. We'll see how many of them we get through. We're 48 minutes in. So we go. I do want to take a moment. Towards the end of the show, I'm also going to, next week's show, I'm a little on the, on the, I'm not sure what to talk to a little bit at the end of the show. I don't want to spend too much time here. here. Um, okay. But I will be in San Diego next week uh, for a yeah, social media world with a uh, conference and I'm trying to decide what I wanted to show American map next I think I mentioned uh, psych shop to me I think Matt was that you like Matt mentioned psychic shop to me and I'm just like, like that is like an old school Old school thing. I don't think it. I don't think it's a good thing anymore. Uh, I, although I did say Atlantic City on the boardwalk, they have all kinds of them. Cannabis startup. Yeah. Actually, who am I kidding? I gotta click on it. Let me. Uh, I'm gonna take one second and see if I can. Um. I was going to try to get this um, this Discord. Matt, if you would ping me that URL, if you'll ping me the Discord uh, invite, uh, so I can add it to a uh, to a QR code, I would very much appreciate that. Cannabis startup, twelve dollars currently, six days left on the uh, the auction. 
Uh, cannabis startup, I don't know. Let's, let's see what's out there. I don't really know what, this sounds, sounds like a hype thing. It sounds like something that's not, I don't know. Let's go, let's go see. 90 exact match searches. Um, okay, this is why we do the control F. Okay, control F on your browser, whatever it is for you Mac folks. Uh, and you'll see it lights up all over the place. So even though it's only 90 searches for cannabis startup exact, there is uh, cannabis funding, 570, uh, cannabis startups, plural. Uh, that gets the majority of the searches here, 320. Um, do you know who, what to know if you're investing in a cannabis startup? You should know some stuff, probably need to know more than what you can Google. Cannabis, start, cannabis startups, cannabis, m many of these are plural, keep an eye on that. You cannot always count on plural benefiting you. And this is one of the reasons why I do buy some cannabis domains. Uh, some might see this, this money over here, and the lack of it. There's no money. Google does not accept revenue for cannabis-related keywords. Uh, however, you can still build sites. They will still show you up in natural re rankings. And uh, basically, if you're willing to deal with the possible legal complications, you can end up making the money because those cannabis companies do look for ways to advertise because they can't pay Google, so they gotta pay somebody. Oh yeah, so cannabisstartup.com. Don't build on it unless you're looking into the legal stuff. Don't don't come after me if you uh, didn't. $12 currently, $6 left on it, and let's move on here. And let me that make sure I'm keeping track. Up, oh, audio is choppy. I wonder if it's, uh, okay. I hate seeing audio issues because it has plagued me. I went back and I, I watched uh, the very first episode I did of Domain to Profit and I see me with my headphones on and it makes me so sad because I remember how like the first just like months of the show I could never get the audio to work. Like everything kept messing up and uh, we've had audio issues for the entire time we've done the show, on and off, and it just, it's just frustrating. It shouldn't be as complicated as what it is, but it is, so. Typically it just is some kind of processing thing on the computer, but I'm lucky that I've gotten it to be more tolerable. So one of the things you'll notice as we go uh, the reason why we order by that appraisal or that valuation is because it brings the best ones to the top and you'll see we're, we're able to move a lot faster now so we're not seeing many domain names that uh, really stop us where that first page we were stopping a lot we were seeing a lot of great domain names now where the money is made though is uh, further down the list like a freight ninja or many of the other domain names I buy, frequently they are not the front page domain names. They are not first page domains. If you want to find a domain name that's tolerably cheap, you got to go down the list. Which I forgot. I want to make sure I show you uh, the domain names just to be helpful to those who uh, benefit from that kind of stuff. I try to be very open about what I do. Uh, I don't share everything, mostly just because I, if there's somebody out there who's a bad player that uh, wants to be mean to me, uh, in that case, I, I don't want to give them too much. But for the most part, I just put it all out there and uh, hope that everybody's on, we're on kind of a common side and or that I have bigger pockets. <laughs> What, one or the other, we'll, we'll see, I guess. I do value domains a lot. A lot, a lot, uh, because once you develop them, once you, look at that, we just went, went right through 200 domains, but that's a good place to stop. So, primes, oh yeah. Well, there we go, let's do a summary real quick. Uh, we'll talk about next, okay, meat pies, I saw that out there. Is that what mince is? Oh yeah, maybe not. Okay. 
Uh, so let's do a summary. We'll run back through these domain names uh, that we've looked at today. We started off with webmarketer.com, ends in two days, $485 currently. I like it. The numbers did not, not, <laughs> I like it, but the numbers did not justify as high of a bid as what I'm probably going to end up going with. Uh, that's one of those things you got to use your gut on. Uh, internet marketer is actually much more common, but I like the shorter word when I can get it. So, uh, but web marketer ends in two days. Uh, carowner.com. I don't really like it, wouldn't even bid 500 bucks for it, not even on my watch list, but I know somebody out there might want to do something with cars, not my arena, but there you go. Um, SEO Academy, I do like the domain name a little bit, keyword data does not justify that price, 35.50 ends tomorrow, but if you are into SEO, uh, I'll tell you what, if you have a way already to monetize and like you can justify 3,500 easily. That is why being a developer, being the person that can monetize a domain name gives you like super powers. If I was still an SEO consultant and I was still doing SEO for companies and charging hundreds an hour uh, to do SEO stuff, I would buy this in a, in a heartbeat. Like, it, it, like one customer, their monthly bill would just be like, boom, just buy the domain name. And then I would be SEO Academy type of thing. Like it's worth it to me but now I don't do SEO at all. I, I hate SEO. It feels like sucking up to Google anymore, and I would much rather worry about the visitors to my site than, uh, than feeding Google. Uh, therefore, not my thing anymore. But SEO ends in one day, 35.50. Computertools.com, there you go. It is what it is, 2.15, ends in three days. This was blueberrymuffin.com, which it was fun, up over th thousands, but domain name pool. Computer tools, didn't we just see that? Yes, we did. Evil Corporation, that is Drew's, uh, uh, ends in five days, $12, and if I end up getting it, I uh, might troll big companies with it. We'll see. Or you can get it and troll big companies with it. Ropecourse.com, probably my favorite domain name of the day, but hear this, it's my favorite domain name. That doesn't mean it should be your favorite domain name. I like it, one, because I have good memories of being a kid doing rope courses in like middle school or elementary school camp and stuff. But uh, ropecourse.com also has near my, me, fits our business model well, and that allows me to pay more for it than what many will probably do. Uh, six days, $40 currently, expect it to be probably four figures or whatever it is I get it at if it's less than that, which I hope is less. Movie apps, plural, is worse than singular, but something worth checking out. Four days, $22. Uh, homemade Pies, probably my second favorite domain name. Do not be the first person to bid. Let me make sure nobody out there has done it. Thank you for not bidding. <laughs> Wait till less than six minutes left. Uh, $12 currently ends in five days. Uh, again, help those little old ladies cooking their homemade pies. Uh, homemadepies.com ends in five days. I, again, I'll, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go for that one as well. I love those near me ones. Maybe I'll be helping out little old ladies with our develop it system. Uh, CannabisStartup.com, uh, $12 currently, six days left. Kind of a fun domain name. We'll see. We'll see. Oh. I think we've got some pretty good domain names. I've certainly enjoyed looking through them with you. Uh, you know, make sure you have. If you, I've seen a lot of people mentioning in the chat the ones they like. If a lot of votes for, uh, what was it, the web marketer was a good one that uh, others liked as well. Uh, so glad to have you with it. Let me just mention, next week's show, I don't know what's going to happen. I know you're probably like, Drew, it's only one week away. You should plan these things. Do I, do you, <laughs> let me just tell you, I am not a planner. I'm, I'm the guy that has this all set up so I can come in as last minute as possible and go live. So um, I'm, I'm a little, I did those remote streams for years. They're tough. Long story short, I don't know what you're going to see next week at 3 p.m. It may be a recording. It may be, be me live. I don't know. Uh, so make sure you have subscribed. And ideally, you've went to DomainToProfit.com and subscribed there as well because that subscription uh, to at, when you're on Domain to Profit is going to be, 
huh. You know, the only thing is, a, okay, but the subscription through email, I will send an email if I do a live stream early or something and do a pre-recording. So the only way you will hear about that is if you are on that subscription email. So uh, keep that in mind. Thank you for pinging me the, uh, the link, Matt, but it just occurs to me. That I'm on two different computers. I can't send any of them. Okay. Well, on that note... Ah, oh, that's funny. So that's, look at that. Yeah, we're, uh, March, March 14th is, uh, March 14th is pie day. So we're just, we're really close to it. Homemade pies and pie day is 314. That's, thanks for pointing that out. I, I love that one on Layla Acre. Nice to have you with us as well. I just uh, now saw that uh, you popped in here. Hide message from stream, yes. Okay, well, I am Drew Walsh. This is Domain to Profit. I hope you had a good time. Hope you found some great domain names with me. And I will see you, if not next week, the week after. And, of course, always message me. Message me over on Discord as well, uh, especially if you're in San Diego. Uh, I'll look you up. I actually do have an extra ticket as well uh, for social media marketing world if anybody's out there and interested in that. So, okay. Well, thanks for joining me. I will see you next week, 3 p.m. Eastern time. Take care.